And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on New York. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Ready to go? In now for the Reds, T.J. Friedel. The left fielder, number 29, T.J. Friedel. And a pitch. That hey. one's in there. And we're underway here this All afternoon. Right. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. And now Bader up to the plate. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Next to hit, Matt McClain. And that's in there for strike one. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. That cool. The first base hit, number seven. Spencer Steer, Spencer the next to hit for the Reds. Steer. First oh offering misses the mark. And now two oh, and nothing. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. That's towards center. Soto makes the grab, and there's two gone. And stepping in is the speedy Ellie De La Cruz. First offering is fouled off. Bader on second. McLean at first. Two out of the inning. Schmidt picks over. Bader dives back. The 0 1. And a swing and a miss there. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. He circles the bases, and they throw three on the board. It's 3 nothing. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. So two down, Joey Votto, the next to hit for the Reds. In there, and it's 0-1. On the ground to short. Zips it to first, and Votto is retired. And the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Anthony Volpe. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here. 
and they slice into the lead. It's 3-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Oswaldo Cabrera now at the plate. In the air out towards right center. Fraley getting an angle on it. Makes the grab. And there's one away. Aaron Judge that at the third. plate. The right fielder. Aaron. Judge. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. Judge out on the play. Two outs. Space is empty. And now here is Juan Soto. First pitch and that's in for a strike. Chris Soto was a runner-up for the National League Rookie of the Year in 2018 to Ronald Acuna Jr., and then a runner-up for the MVP in 2021 to Bryce Harper. Is this a guy you think could win an MVP somewhere down the line? Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall. New inning getting started. Jonathan India at the plate. The third baseman, Jonathan India. The pitch. There's a strike. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Slides, but he can't come up with it. So, man aboard. And now the right fielder, Jake Fraley. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Steps on the bag for one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Tyler Stevenson in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball. One, two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. And that one hit to first. Rizzo takes it to the bag, and that will end the inning. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning, here is Glaber Torres. And the pitch. That misses oh, right the zone, down. and that's ball one. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. That's off the mark, and a count two and one. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. Labor Torres the opposite way. And they cut into the lead. It's 3-2. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. That one misses, and that's ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next pitch is outside. Lodolo. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. In plenty of time to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. 
not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate and takes high there. And a foul ball. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Got him swinging. Two down. Batting it. No Here's two. Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. To the right side. On to first. Play made. That ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, TJ Friedel. Number 29, TJ Friedel. Schmidt back to work. Popped in the air. Left field. Verdugo makes a nice run and catch. Next for Cincinnati, Harrison Bader singled and scored his first time. Swing and a bouncer. Gets it to first. Oh. And Bader is set down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three yeah, here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. McClain. McClain batting for the second time, and that's oh, strike one. Down. That one drilled left field, and a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Move first, and he's back in on a dive. And now, Spencer Steer. That's a strike. It's 0-1. Two outs. Ball. Well struck left field. That one is gone. He'll touch them all, and they add to their lead. It's 5-2. High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. And now time is called as there's a visit to the mound. Just talking things over, nobody getting loose out in the pen. So a little consultation. And now, Ellie De La Cruz. That one's in there. Going one. De La Cruz, just 21 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to Rizzo. That's out number three. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's a big power threat. Austin Wells. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Friedel pulls it in, and there's one away. Volpe hitting leadoff in today's game. Usually a short stop, but today... Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is going to go. His second home run of the game, and they inch closer. It's 5-3. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And 
all of a sudden they're back in this ball game. Base is empty one away. Next to hit Oswaldo Cabrera. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. One thing he has to remember is that he does not have to cover as much ground. So those balls to his left, remember that you got a good shortstop that can make the backhanded play for you. Strike two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The right fielder. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Just missed. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. Fraley brings it in with a nice running grab. Start of the fourth, and now the DH, Joey Votto, and a pitch. That misses the zone, 1-0. and oh. Well, these Reds doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers Good back ball. that up. No it's strike. tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. Swings through that one. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. The next offering misses. Counts full, three and two. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. And he's already singled in this game. Red certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 where they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Gator. He turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. On the ground to third. Volpe throws oh. it to first in time. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Jake Fraley launches one and they boost their lead. It's 6 3. At this level, you got to be good. Sometimes you got to be a little lucky. That was a pretty nasty pitch. Sinker on the outside corner, but he did a great job of covering it and he hit the ball out of the park. And now the catcher comes up to him, Tyler Stevenson. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Out to short. Throws across the diamond, and that's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Here's Juan Soto. And a pitch. And there's the strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single solid swing from start to end on time with everything base. really good Glaber. balance nice extension and he met it out front for the line drive knock Glaber Torres up to hit off the mark there ball one step off throw to first Soto gets back easily Soto gets his lead at first nobody out 
Missing inside. Ball two. Inside just missed. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Out towards left center. Bader should have it. He makes the grab. One away. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Singy, one thing Anthony Rizzo's used to is getting plunked. No one has been hit by more pitches. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag out at second. This to center field. Friedel makes the grab, and that's the inning. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number 76. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, T.J. Friedel. The left fielder, number 29. Yeah, he's a tough guy, fearless up there at the dish, and he just holds his ground, does not give up on pitches in the inside part of the plate, and that's why he gets hit so much. Next pitch misses outside. One and one. That one the other way. Verdugo makes the grab one away. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Harrison Bader. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Lifted in the air right center field. Judge getting an angle on it. Grabs it on the run. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. McLean in the box again. Takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Three. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Welcome back. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. The pitch. That one missed. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Gonna count one and two. And the one two misses to even the count. Got it by him for the K. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is out of here. The Rockets one to right, and they're chipping away. It's 6-4. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And the batter now, Austin Wells. 0 for 1 so far. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Volpe, batting with one down, takes a strike. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. Yeah. Pitch is in there. It's a ball and two strikes. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out Runner, of a it. double play here. And there he goes. Next offering is foul back. And here it comes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Stepping in is the now switch hitting shortstop, Oswaldo Cabrera. Struck out on just three pitches last time. In there for strike one. Well, in an 0 oh, count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Over to first, and he's safe. Another throw over, he's and he's back again. Oh. Next one misses, and it's one and one. In the air out to center, Bader should have it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Top of the sixth inning. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Spencer Steer. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. It's 0 1. And he takes a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Next one is off the play. It's 2 and 2. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. He's already homered in this game. That nope. one off the mark, and that's ball, ball one. one. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Popped up. Cabrera puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Cincinnati, the designated hitter. Joey Votto, 39 years old. And he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play. And there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for it. The third baseman, number six. Jonathan India Jonathan will hit next. India. One for two. Swings through that oh one. one. Oh and one. Check swing and he held up. Ball to strike. The pitch. Hey. One ball. Two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the right fielder, Aaron Judge. And he deals. That one ripped right center field. Fraley going back for it. Back some more. And it's gone. Home run. Aaron Judge leads the yard. And they close the gap. It's 6-5. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel. And he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. And now it's Juan oh, Soto. And the first pitch misses for ball one. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Line drive, caught! Labor Torres up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Line drive, jumps, but it's off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. That's hard hit in the line. Can't get there. Base hit. 
Everything came together for him. Nope. Anytime you rip a line nope. drive the other way, you feel really nope. good oh, about oh. what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Stanton, the next to hit, takes ball one. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Next offering is in for a strike. One of the things to remember about John Carlos Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. And now before the 1-2, time is called at home plate. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. We go to the top of the seventh. In now for the Reds, Jake Fraley. The pitch. On the ground, right side. The throw to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. And that's in there for strike one. On the ground, right side. And that quickly, oh. two away. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, T.J. Friedel. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. First pitch, and he just misses. That one the other way, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. New pitcher for the Reds, Sam Mole. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Alex Verdugo digs in now. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Swung on, belted. That one back there. Brings it back on a leaping catch. Wow. Well, he just took one away from one of the best in the league. It's not going to happen very often, but when you get the opportunity, better make the play, and he did right there. Austin Wells getting ready to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And he can't quite get there, it's a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss. And the count, two one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Volpe. In there, and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. They say it went. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. I thought they were getting out of the inning right there, but not so fast. Let's see what the offense can do now that they have a base runner. Cabrera in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, 
You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. On the ground to the left. Fires across the diamond. That's the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jonathan Loisica. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Harrison Bader, one for three. And a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. And that Whoa, just yeah. misses. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. They get frozen. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Next for Cincinnati, Matt McClain. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. The pitch. He goes down looking. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Spencer Steer. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Swings through that. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Next offering is fouled back. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a mound visit coming, and with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. Wandy Peralta will take over here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now, Ellie De La Cruz. Yeah. In there for strike one. That's through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. In the air to left center. And makes the grab. And that is that. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, T.J. Antone. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Antone. The pitch. Judge in the box now. Take strike one. And a swing and a miss. There comes an 0-2 to judge. And now one and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Watch Soto now. First pitch just misses. The tying run at the plate. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Oh. Torres stands in here, That's takes ball one low. 
Next pitch is outside. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one now with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Pickoff move to first. Soto back in standing. Two two now and now it's filled up. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't runner takes off. Oh now this one's high and deep way back there on its way gone. Glaber Torres goes yard. He's done it again. His second homer of the game and they lead it. It's seven six. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. New pitcher for the Reds, You're Alex right. Young. He's into the game with the bases empty. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Showed a really nice opposite field. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. DJ LeMayhew. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. Swing and a line drive slicing into right field. Fraley pulls it down and there's two gone. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. So now a pinch hitter, Oswald Peraza. A runner on first with two gone for him. That misses the zone. Ball one. Stanton leads off first with two down to the inning. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. Now before the 1-1, one, one, time is called. Making a move at first, and here's the pinch runner, Trent Grisham. Number one, Trent Grisham. One one now. No catch off the plate. Ball two. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. In the dirt, Stevenson to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Staying in the game on defense, D.J. LeMayhew. He pitch hit last half and now takes over at first. Clay Holmes on to pitch out of the pen here. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So coming into the game now on defense, Billy McKinney. He'll be out in left field. Now it's the DH, Joey Votto. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. The pitch. Here's a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him! And one out now. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. That one rip, base hit down the line. 
Judge throws to second. Not in time. It's a double. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. And here is Jake Fraley. And that's in there for strike one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, okay. tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. Out to short, Cabrera. Tosses across the first, and they're down to their last out. Now battle. Reds down to their final out. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit, trying to deliver as the hero. That's in there, going one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next offering is foul back. Got him! And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. Well, these guys were able to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth and just cruise to this win, getting those final three outs in the top of the ninth. Excellent job of securing your home field and keeping the fans in the ball game all the way to the end. Nice W all the way around. One run game here today. Your final score, seven to six. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.